Welcome back to the Wolf of Alt Street. Today we're looking at a new player in the L1 space who have already got hundreds of millions of users and are going to be onboarding them into the crypto space with their very special app. We're speaking the no other than the Ton blockchain and that's by the Telegram team. And if we were to judge how a blockchain is doing well, it's going to be by their financial statements. Now, if we look at the sea of green, if you look at Q4, the end of last year, you can see there were minus 12 million. In Q1 this year, minus 11 million. In Q2 this year, minus 8.2 million. Now, this shows that the Ton ecosystem is growing. It's onboarding more users. And there's nothing worse than a blockchain which doesn't have users. And we're going to get to why they're going to be so successful and why we are early as well. So the second page we're looking at is the use of TonCoin. And these are the key metrics. And again, as you can see, it's a sea of green. Total trading volume has increased by 100%. Market cap has increased by 9.1%. And as we'll see in a second, why that's important. And token holders are flying up at the same time. So now you can see why we delve into the data, because it helps us make educated decisions before jumping into a blockchain narrative. Now we're looking at all of the blockchain comparisons here and how much they've grown grown and I've organized it by growth in percentage market cap. And if you look at who's number one, it is Ton. And you've got all of these other behemoths of a blockchain here. And Ton has come out with the latest growth when they're bleeding all the way down here. Now, there is a reason for that. And Ton has got a ton of users. Now, let's see Telegram's monthly active users. In March 2014, they had 35 million, growing all the way to 800 million. And and I believe it's about 900 million as of today. And of course, the key question is, where are all of these users going to be funneled into? The open network. That's what TON stands for. They've recently introduced a wallet where you can send money between Telegram users, have your own Web3 ID and connect seamlessly with different Web3 apps. So cryptocurrency is the heart of TON. They're sitting at rank number nine with a $20 billion market cap. Pavel Durov is the founder and creator of Telegram. And for him to have the vision to create an openly connected ecosystem with the 1 billion users that he has is absolutely genius because he's making his app, Telegram, a staple in the crypto community, which it already is. Everybody's using Telegram, all the groups, all the stories. It also has different applications and services which people are already using within the app all around the world, such as anonymous eSIMs. So when you're traveling, you don't need to buy a local SIM card. You can just use the Telegram app. DNS, easy to remember addresses for companies companies or your own personal domains. They've got a whole marketplace around that. Tribute, which enables you to monetize your audience. The creator economy is not fair, and they're looking to revolutionize that in their own way. And then you've got Fragment, which is you could buy Telegram Premium on there. You can also buy username and upgrade and gift subscriptions. They've also got a unique digital art place for celebrities and creators who are well known. And also, if you want to launch your own digital collectibles, they provide the facility to do that. When a company is talking about decentralized storage, I often ask myself, what is the vision for them to go into something like this? You're talking about decentralized storage, but they've got servers and, and proxies all around the world. What else could that be used for? Gaming. I could guarantee you they're going to make waves in the gaming space and revolutionizing the way content is distributed as well. And you heard it first here on the channel. So as we know, they didn't have many projects on the ecosystem before, but now it's growing fast. If we look at the top three, the first one is Tether, Toncoin, and Rido, Resistance Dog. Now, if you think about all of those users coming on board, they're sitting at a $74 million market cap. What did Dogecoin and Shiba get to? 50, 60 billion? So when you put it into perspective, this market cap is a baby. And Resistance Dog plays in to the narrative of Telegram. And when I look at Resistance Dog and what it stands for, you know, you've got the stickers and you've got the fun and all of that. The main thing is the access in the community. And where is the community and the access? It's through the Telegram app. So once they start onboarding fully all of those people and they've already got the wallets inside the app again, this just sends me back to the Dogecoin days when I started mining it in 2014 because this is exactly what it was. It was 
nothing. And then it turned into the behemoth that it is today. And the whole premise of what this was built on and what Telegram stands for matches hand in hand. Telegram is a privacy app that respects your privacy and does things the new way, not the old clunky way like WhatsApp. It gave us more dynamic ways to communicate. And also, it's becoming the all-in-one app. Think about what Twitter and X is doing. I still call it Twitter, yes. But imagine what X is doing in terms of trying to create the all-in-one app. Telegram has a messaging service that people already use and they're integrating everything else around the blockchain. Now, I wonder how X is going to catch up with this or if it's going to carve its own space out in the industry. And one of the amazing things that they've introduced within the app is the ads because Telegram ads are going to be paid with, you guessed it, Toncoin. So the more demand and utility this coin has, the more it will be worth. And there's over 900 million Telegram users with 1 trillion views. And as you could see here, the wallet is already integrated within Telegram. So people can send ad crypto exchange and buy on a P2P marketplace, which means, yes, you have both sides of the spectrum. You have the anonymity to take part in transactions, which are not via centralized exchanges. Maybe you might be in a place in a world where it's not allowed or banned. But the most important thing is they've already integrated the wallet within the app. Remember, 900 million users and the Toncoin ecosystem. The way I like to look at it is when you see a company that's done well from the very beginning, taking a standard social media application and creating something that the world loves, especially the crypto community, and continuing to innovate while companies like Facebook and WhatsApp grow stagnant in their positions, this company, in my opinion, is destined for success. If you want me to go over some specific projects in the next video and show you how to use the wallet, set it up and get started, do let me know in the comments below and I'll get that done for you. And as always, until next time, 